provide wraparound services for our children. And when I talk about wraparound services, I'm talking about do they have shoes on their feet? Do they have uh, behavioral health counseling when they're dealing with the issues of poverty? People know, we all know what happens in poverty neighborhoods. They're dealing with gangs and drugs and abuse and, and, and not all of them, but some of them are. Or just even just the effects of just being poor is hard on people. And so this weighs on children. They carry those messages with them. We need to make sure that at a young age that they get those services. So they have a fighting chance that they have the opportunity. On our side of town, we're as smart as anybody. And we've proved that in my family. We have all, our, all of our nieces, nieces and nephews have master's degrees. But we are number one in export. We export our educated children to the states around us. We gotta stop doing that. We need to have jobs for our children. That has to be our priority especially here in the South Valley and the Southwest Mesa. That's how we get ourselves out of debt. The county is in, is in debt right now. And they say, well, how are you gonna face, face you know, approach the debt? Well, it's easy. You gotta make more money in order to do it. We're not gonna balance the budget on the back of the employees of the county. We're not gonna fire people in the county to fix the budget, because all you do is you put more people into poverty if you, if you take their jobs away. So you're just feeding the same animal over and over and over. There's better ways of doing it. I know that the film and television industry brings a lot of money to the state of New Mexico, and I say the county is open for business. We can make that money too. We can build the, the facilities that the film and television industry could use here in the county, and we can take those tax dollars, and we can fix our budget. 